Now, I know you're not going to believe me, but, but, but bear with me, because it's true. There is a cat in a nursing home no one wants to see. Why? Because he predicts who will die next. Now, before you roll your eyes, this phenomenon is described in today's New England Journal of Medicine. Doctors say that cat, Oscar, observes and sniffs patients at a nursing home, and then he stays with the people who end up dying a few hours later. He has been right 25 times. And in fact, he's better at predicting death than the staff at the Rhode Island nursing home where he is. Now, we've also heard about the dogs who can accurately sniff out people with cancer. So how do animals do it? With us now, the author of The Checklist, Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Manny Alvarez. It sounds crazy. Oscar, but, Oscar the cat. This is a over. fascinating story. As you said, it made it into the New England Journal today. Uh, well described by a very prominent uh, doctor. Uh, and yes, animals are incredible creatures because they can smell the chemical changes. Now, there have been many studies looking at, let's say, bladder cancer in England, looking at the uh, at dogs sniffing urine, and they can detect bladder cancer. Uh, also, uh, in, in New England, uh, in certain New England states, have been researched looking at breast cancer, lung cancer, all with animals, because all, you know, when our bodies break down where there's cancer, and in this case, of course, this, this uh, little uh, cat, of course, is probably smelling certain chemicals. Now, this is an observational study. You know, a lot of the people say that, you know, they should take this a step further and sort of compare and look a well-controlled study, but nonetheless, the phenomenon is well described. Twenty-five times, you can't, you know. Right, right. The phenomenon is well, well described, and you know that th that aspect of that uh, those animals smelling those chemical changes is leading researchers to create machines that would use the same technology of that odor changes and chemicals to predict disease. And Isn't we see that, that. Yeah, absolutely. So we're actually learning from animals mm -hmm. to conduct research and and kind of get better predictors for cancer. You know, it's it's been interesting how the patients react. Um, most of the families love it because the cat comes yeah. in and they say that they talk about how he, he cuddles up and starts purring as the patient dies. Absolutely. And they feel that it's very peaceful. Now, there have been other families who said, get the cat out of the room. <laughs> the cat then sits outside the room and yowls right. and scratches at the door. Yeah. It's, it's really amazing. No, it's an amazing thing. And, and uh, this is going to really uh, you know, uh, lead to a lot of new research, I think. Fantastic. Yeah.